Hello! I am here. I continue to not be dead. Um, hello. If you guys see this gigantic pimple on my face, no you don't. I wasn't going to put on makeup because I already showered and, you know, I'm not going to shower and then put on makeup because that's just so much effort. Also, thank you for the resub, Nicole the Pickle, with 56 months. Crazy. <laughs> the stream notification made me accidentally super glue my finger. Thanks, Kerr. Jade Pemblin strikes again. Passage of time is wild. It's especially wild when you work with young children. <laughs> How I feel today. Hello? What's going on? Very, like had to get in here. Uh, Veronica is here going to tell us uh, theories about Curse of Blackmore Manor. Because that is what we're going to be playing today. Um, I have my notebook. We're getting ready. A pencil came out of it. It's locked, it says. I just can never see it. It's too bright. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. Um. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna be listening. We will only lost the manor for sixty five years before the slave owner bought it. What are you talking about? What? <laughs> What? <laughs> I am so confused already. How did they lose the manor? Oh, when it was taken from them during the whole... witch hunting? He made his fortune in the world, New World, a.k.a. he was a slave owner. I see. You're talking about Corbin? Orban Pendolin? Is that who we're talking about? I, okay. We'll get to it when we get to it. Um, let's see if DXWND wants to play game. Will you play ball for me? Oh, it does, it would like to play ball. That's really loud, I apologize. For you guys at least, it's loud. It's incredibly quiet on my end. There's so much going on right now. Okay. That bigger. And then change the scene. Oh, man. Completely. I knew I forgot there somewhere. Move that one. There's always something. There we go. Okay. Okay, we'll do it. We'll do a new game. Uh, apparently I know this game well enough that I can play it in French, a, a language I do not speak, so. That's always the good news. My hair almost matches the books. It's true. Okay, let's do this. New Welcome game. to my latest case, the my Curse latest of Blackmore case. Manor. To start, choose this junior or senior detective. That's really loud, right?
I'm just gonna go down a little more. Welcome to my latest case, The Curse of Blackmore Manor. Dear Ned, greetings Dear from Ned. jolly old England. Although right now I'm not so sure about the jolly part. It's really it's loud still, I'm huh? I'm on my way to Blackmore Manor, where the daughter of one of our neighbors is living. The daughter, whose name is Linda, recently married Hugh Pendleton, a British diplomat. His name is Linda, mm, recently married case. Hugh Pendleton, a British diplomat. His name is Linda, recently married Hugh. Hugh travels a lot, so the only people at the manor with Linda are what the Hugh's fuck? aunt, Mrs. Drake and Hugh's 12-year-old daughter, Jane. The thing is, ever since Linda moved into the manor, her health has gone downhill. She's practically bedridden, and no one seems to know why. Her mother is convinced something is terribly wrong and wants me to find out what. So here I am, about to be dropped off at a huge centuries-old mansion in the middle of a dark, foggy moor. <laughs> I can't tell whether the butterflies in my stomach are because I'm excited or just a tad creeped out. Talk to you soon. I hope. Nancy. Night, Night miss. Hope. Good luck. Night, miss. What's with all the frogs? This game is much earlier in the year than I thought. Who's there? Hello? Here, I'm gonna turn it down again because it looks very loud for you guys. Uh, Blackmore is supposed to be in Essex, apparently. Even though the name... There's something out there! Yeah, see? Where uh, choice? It's in Essex. Over there! I mean, something was out there. Uh, come in! <laughs> I'm Mrs. Drake. I take it you are Nancy Drew? Nancy yes, Drew? and I really did see something, Mrs. Drake. I heard something, too. Oh, people are always seeing and hearing things on the moor at night. Especially you Americans. Why don't you just go on up to your room? It's the one with the moon on the door. I'd like to see Linda, if I could. I'm afraid Linda is, uh, not quite ready to meet with you just now. But please, come see me after you've unpacked. I'll be in the conservatory. All right, thank you. Someone's already taken her uh, allergy medication. Dear Ned, greetings from Jolly Old England. Dear Ned, greetings from Jolly Old England. Dear Ned, greetings from. There we go. We got the full, oh man. We get the whole zip code and everything. Postal code. Well then. Built in the 12th century by a warrior named Randolph the Red, Blackmore Manor is one of the oldest residences in England. In 12th century? Ha! <laughs> That's nowhere near! the oldest red whatever <laughs> Randolph and his descendants came to be known by the ancient name for the area surrounding Blackmore Penvalin Penvalin which is very Welsh that is a very Welsh name by the way that is not Essex the I hmm. the Penvalins have inhabited the manor ever since it was built it was abandoned in 1650 after the owner was executed by for witchcraft, but by 1715 the Pendlins had moved back into the manor and re-established themselves as the respectable, wealthy family, a reputation which remains to this day. 
Oh, that's it. There's no more. I had my I had my uh, travel guide voice on and everything. Felicitations. Um, I don't actually have to do anything in here yet, but I'm gonna. I always do. I always do. Wonder what goes there. Something fits in here, but what? But what? Hmm. I don't know, Nancy. I think. Oh, I should actually go look at this first. Real quick. So I got the snakes. I got snick. I got links. Got lion. Bunny. writing stuff down. I'm playing this game like it's supposed to be played. Isn't that nice every once in a while? Sometimes. Sometimes I just like actually do what I should do. Look at that. See? I just actually did notes. Watch band update. I have super glue on my fingers again, and this isn't working. Use a toothpick. Lion. Leo. It's red. Oh, I clicked the wrong button. Links is... Snick. Bunny. And Pisces. Wonder what this is. Who knows? This lens is supposed to go into a telescope that sits on a tripod. Hmm, I haven't found the tripod yet, but... Mm. Oh, that's just that. Yes, I'll take it. Oh, no, no, 
Aries Taurus. I always forget one. Aries. Taurus. Gemini. Sir? Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces. I have a moon. It said I was going to have a moon, and look, I have a moon. another phone search. Ah, classic phone. Nicole is like, phone? Never heard of it. To be fair, searching the internet on a phone from 2004 sounds like a pain in the ass. I remember when I had um, one of my first phones, it had an internet button. And I remember one day, it had to have been like 2007, maybe 2008, I accidentally clicked it. It was like five minutes of us trying to cancel it out before it cost us money. So. Oh, forget it. Stay in Italy as long as you want. This must be Mrs. Drake's room. I went the wrong way. Linda? Hi, it's me, Nancy Drew. Nancy, Nancy Drew, Drew, our friendly neighborhood detective. Well, welcome to Blackmore Manor. I apologize for greeting you under such unusual circumstances. Yes. Yeah. Even I did that on my slidey phone that I had before I got a smartphone. Yeah, I had that one of those flip phones. Okay. It was really cool, though. I had one of those flip phones where it flipped up. And it was a regular phone. And then you could then turn it and flip it out and turn it. And the keyboard lit up it, like it was an actual keyboard. Oh, it was so cool. It was like, mwah, that was peak phone design. Bring me back. Bring me back. To, it was called the alias, I think I wanna I wanna say. Give me a second. Now I wanna look this up. Phone alias. Um flip. Alias flip phone. Yes! Okay, okay, okay. It was Samsung, of course it was. I've had Samsung for years now. Yeah, this bitch. Okay. This bitch. Look at it. Isn't it so cool? And it had a selfie camera in the front. So as in, you could see on that screen. Mwah. This one was, like, that is, that, man, that is what I need. Bring it back. It was sick. It was, mwah. It had two cameras. No, wait, this one just had the one camera, but it was pretty cool. Oh, man. Ugh. I actually had two of these. The first one, um, I broke the front screen um, because I had it in my pocket while I was playing. Um, uh, air hockey, that's what it was. I was playing air hockey and it was in my front pocket and I hit up against it and it just shattered the screen in my pocket. It, 
Oh my gosh. Oh. Ah. Okay. Now that I'm done with that, we'll go back to. Uh. So how are you feeling? How am I feeling? Well, I feel. Ah. <laughs> I feel like something really strange is happening. Um. Do I have any? Uh, do I have any monthly sticker sheet updates? I'm I'm thinking I could make it a not for money thing, and that would probably be kosher. Now the music is really low, so you guys can't even hear it. Let's back up. Um. So I'm hoping to start using them again, and maybe have it be a fun Discord thing. Um, but I don't know. I'm, or maybe just have it be for patrons or something like that. But I don't know. It's still, uh, I just have to think about it still. Your mother is very concerned about your condition. Hydrate. Condition? What's I only have soda right you? now. What her son-in-law keeps telling me, that it's all in my head, that I'm just an unhappy new bride, that I just need time to adjust. I'm tired all the time, my mouth is dry, my vision is blurry, but that's not important. Here's what's important, Nancy. There are some doors that should never be opened. There are some doors that hold secrets which must never <gasps> be known. That's everything you need to know. Now if- Mommy, can I come in? No, you're supposed to be in your lessons. Lessons are over. I want to meet Nancy. I said no, Jane. Okay. That was my stepdaughter. She can be such a pest. Sometimes. She can be such a pest. Anyway, I understand you feel an obligation Why are you to my treating mother, her like a child. There's nothing I mean, like do. a little sibling stay. instead of your I child. That's what I mean. That you go home as soon as possible. No, it worked. It's now Nancy in black and white. I can't go home empty-handed. No. Please, Linda, just tell, tell me what's, me what's wrong. wrong. Linda. Okay, okay. I'll let you rest, but I'll be back. I'm here for you if you need me. Hey, bye. Bye, bitch. Perfect, beautiful, stunning. What else is in this fucking room? What is this room? Like. Can't I just go around to the other side of the bed? Why, hello. <laughs> He's like, oh, excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to intrude. Oh, it's just it's a just parrot. It's just a parrot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Polly want a cracker? Not Polly. Lolo, 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 Lolo. Okay, I get the point. Lulu. Lulu, 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 Lulu. Have I seen Latin yet? Yes, on the star charts. Do you by any chance know Latin? I'll take that as a yes. Would you mind translating something? You still want to talk, postcard? I'm still working on my third, my third batch. We'll see. <laughs> what kind of crimes are you gonna commit? Are they for me or against me? Uh, I mean, I don't really care. Mama? The longest day of the year is solstitium, the summer solstice. The shortest day is bruma, the winter solstice. Equinoctium vernum is a spring okay. equinox. Equinoctium autumnalis is a fall equinox. Day yep. equals night. Lulu's always right. Sure. Bye, I don't care. Cheerio. Cheerio. Pip, cheerio. Okay. There goes ah, yes. my cell phone. There Hello. goes my cell phone. It's Mrs. Petrov. How is everything? Have you seen Linda yet? Literally speaking, no, but I did talk to her. Not that she told me anything. I'm just about at my wit's end. 
I'm just about at my wit's end. The last doctor that examined her said that aside from a little dry skin, which is not unusual for her, she was perfectly fine. Is Lulu the best character in the Nancy Drew series? I think so. Hmm. I'm going to have to say no, because it's in fact to me. The dog. Oh, Veronica, I can't save. I'm in the middle of a conversation. Why is she hiding behind that curtain? Stretch. I have no idea. When I was out there last week, I got fed up and pulled Ooh, the curtain back. Pop. She threw a fit, but otherwise she looked absolutely normal. A little pale, perhaps, but who wouldn't be pale, cooped up like that? Something has changed her. Something it's changed. I mean, she's being drugged. You just as bewildered and upset by her behavior as I am. Please get to the bottom of this, Nancy. And where is you? Hope. Where is Hugh? He was Help me, Nancy Rome. Drew. As You're as my only hope. Joe is being called out of the country without warning and without any say in the matter. He'd much rather be there with Linda, although. Although what? It's just that Hugh said it hasn't been very easy for him to talk to her lately. So he's Whenever cheating he on her which is at least with his ex-wife. Linda always seems to fly off the handle for no reason, which doesn't make sense. Linda has always been extremely level-headed and even-tempered. She never gets angry. At least she didn't. She never gets one. angry. Okay, bye. Goodbye, Mrs. Petroff. Goodbye, Nancy. Oh, one more thing. My niece is on call and her husband's out of town, and, and I told her I'd go over there and babysit if she had to work. So if you call and I don't answer, that's why. Bye. Or it's in the middle of the night, you know? Sometimes you just need to make notifications go away. Which means I have to click this and web mailing. Congrats on your great Britain gig! Be thinking about you while we help our neighbor. I don't give a shit. Party boys. Try and make notifications go away. Well, you're off to England and we're off to sailing camp. Whatever. No email service abroad. Okay, whatever. Why stars seem to move? You know what? I'm not... I hate you. I hate you, little exclamation point. I hate you so much. I hate you and everything you stand for. All settled in? Good. Oh, so I know that you're visiting Linda, but I know how much you've teenagers like your televisions and loud stereos, so I must insist that you act respectfully and civilly while you stay with us. Since my nephew Hugh is away on a second. Theory talk. Linda can't move out of Blackmore Manor because if she does, 50% of the estate will be left to Mrs. Drake, and Hugh will only get 50%. But to be honest, I don't understand why that's a problem at all. We see a letter that Mrs. Drake receives in reply to her asking their solicitor whether or not Linda can move out of the manor for her mental health. So clearly Mrs. Drake is worried about her. Mrs. Drake is, I guess, supposed to be someone who is obsessed with status and family history. But in reality, she doesn't really seem like it. Business? I am in charge of this household, and if there's I am in I charge of this dead, household. It's noise. You it's daughter noise. Jane is staying with us and would very much like to meet you, but please try not to distract her. She has her studies and mustn't be disturbed during her lessons. Is anyone else staying here? We do not have any permanent house staff, if that's what you mean. The Penvalents have always been self-reliant. We get on quite well without being continuously mollycoddled by a squadron of insipid, gossiping ne'er-do-wells. Now, we do have two other house guests. A Mr. Nigel Mukherjee, who is researching the Penvalent family history in the library, and Ethel Bossini, Jane's tutor. Do you know what's wrong with Linda? Oh, 
Linda simply needs some time to adjust to her new living situation. England is not the United States. We do things differently, or should I say properly, here. The doctor believes it's just a case of nerves. Did he prescribe her um, Valium and did, did, did he diagnose her with hysteria? <laughs> Mrs. Drake, babe, Linda's being gaslit by a 12-year-old. <laughs> Okay, okay. Is that what you believe? I don't know, and the doctors don't know. No one seems to know anything. All I've been told is that Linda is unwell and that in her stead, I must look after matters. Now, please, I really do not have time to entertain you. You may have the run of the house, but do not break anything and refrain from mucking about with items that aren't yours. Two rules Jane seems incapable of following. And before I forget, our kitchen is being rebobbled, so our dining situation is rather unorthodox. Oh, rather? I've made arrangements with a local restaurant to deliver meals to us. There should be a programmed number for them on the phone in your room. Feel your free room. to order whatever you'd like. Goodbye. Bye. Run along. Run along. Off you pop. Oh, wow. Oh, do I want to do that so bad? There's no reason yet. Hungry. Ready for some nummy. Did you say something, Mrs. Drake? Not, Not to, to you, you dear. dear. Looks like John Pendleton may have developed some of the plants that are in here himself. Oh, I didn't look at Granny. Doesn't work. The book, that is. I can't hold you back. This from must anything. be some kind of well. But where's the water? Where's the water? I don't know, Nancy. Um, who wants me to kill Nancy? A carnivorous all plant. Cool. All I needed was for one person. Now two people. That's probably not a good idea. Ah! Thank you. The letter M. Did you call them tennis? Tennis shoes? Not tennis shoes? Okay, question for chat. Do you call them sneakers? Tennis shoes? Or trainers? Let me know. And in the YouTube comments as well. Oh, as if I've been uploading anything to YouTube. It stopped working. It stopped working. Athletic. Oh, tennies. Okay, I could I could hear tennies. Athletic shoes. I've always called them tennis shoes. Hello, most annoying ah, yes. man Are in the world. Are you here from the agency? It's about time. No, I'm Nancy Drew, a friend of Linda's. How do you do? I'm Nigel Mukherjee. I'm researching the Pendleton family, and Mrs. Drake actually has actually just say athletic shoes? For me. Nothing much has been written about the Pendleton's. Until now. Oh. Why do you think that is? It might have something to do with their the scandalous history. history. Or perhaps it has okay. something Anyone to do with Anyone gonna tell me how amazing these trail. curls are? Because I feel like they need to be appreciated. They're so bouncy tonight.
the more fashionable trending ones that aren't practical for exercise are speakers are sneakers okay scandalous history well having a family member burned as a witch can hardly be considered a mark of pride i dare say and then there's the whole business with the blackmore beast thank you veronica gets me I say, someone tell me my curls look amazing, and Veronica says, Risa, your curls are amazing. See, that's all I really need in life right now. Tennis shoes are sneakers, but not all sneakers are tennis shoes. Sneakers encompass tennis shoes and, like, chucks. I guess. Because, if, like, if I looked at Converse, I'd be like, hey, I need to put on my Converse. I wouldn't say, apparently I just don't say sneakers very much. I mostly just say tennis shoes. <laughs> Why do people say Eleanor created the Blackmore Beast when the phone search results for Blackmore Beast clearly state that the sightings of the Beast date back to before Eleanor was born? Sloppy world building is why. <laughs> because people love to blame women. God forbid women ever do anything around here. Blackmore Beast? It's a story that's been told for generations out here. During the 1600s, many of the villagers reported seeing a strange beast with red eyes and giant fangs prowling the moors. They asked the mistress of Blackmoor Manor, Eleanor Pendleton, to put a bounty on the beast's head. But, oddly enough, she not only refused, she forbade anyone from hunting the creature. It was rumored that the beast was Eleanor's husband, whom she had cursed for finding out too much about the Pendleton secret. Yeah, sure, why not? God forbid women do anything. Penvalent secret? For centuries, the Penvalents have been very secretive. Some believe they're protectors of a fabulous treasure or of some dark secret. There are several skeletons rattling about in the Penvalent closet. Take, for example, Eleanor Penvalent. Tried and convicted of witchcraft in 1650, quite the height of the witch trials here in Essex. It was rumored that Cromwell arranged the conviction. Veronica's bringing up some very valid points here. Um, and I will say that yes, so when you had like a family name, you kept that. Like, if she was still living in Blackmore with the Pendulins, yes, she wouldn't change her name. But also, I don't know, was her husband also a Pendulin? Very, very possible. But she wasn't actually a witch? Who knows? Lady Who Pendleton knows? Lady was a rather vocal critic of Cromwell's policies and helped many of his enemies flee the country. Whether she actually was a practitioner of witchcraft is unknown, although many visitors to the manor during her tenure reported hearing strange, ghostly bells. Some even saw phantom hands floating about the manor, tolling their charmed chimes. Sure, why not? Turned on the stream and Gussie rushed over, Reese's number one fan. Hello, Gussie. Who are all those paintings of in the Great Hall? Those are the Penvalents who owned Blackmoor Manor at one time or another. Where did the dad go? He was the beast. Come on, pay attention, Veronica. I'll let you get back to your work. Tally-ho! Tally-ho! I doubt you'll find much of interest in there. They're mainly law books. Charles Penvalin was a prominent judge in the 16th century. Sad to say, he lost his son at a young age, left his estate to his grandson, Thomas. Interesting. I'm researching Philippe Penvalin, and it appears that many scholars believe he was a pirate. That would explain his source of wealth. Those manuscripts are very old and brittle. They date back to the 14th century. Odo Penvalin collected most of them. His father, Randolph, 
and son Milo were rather more interested in military victories than in book collecting. Oh, okay, so they're saying he was a pirate, not a slave owner. Well, Veronica's learned something new this stream. Do you mind if I use this computer? No, not at all. But it's very old. Feel free to use mine if I'm not here. Who's Alan? Alan Pendleton was a noted researcher in computers and languages. Jane let me into his computer, but there was nothing much of interest on it. What's the password? I'm not sure. I couldn't quite track the provenance of that piece, but Philippe must have brought it back from the New World. He became quite wealthy as a merchant in the Americas and restored Blackmore's original splendor after it had been abandoned for years. His daughter Penelope continued the renovation, commissioning the construction of this library by Roger Vizier, who built a similar one for the French general Jean Leboeuf. Ow. Damn, congrats on not being a slave owner. Yeah. I mean, they totally owned slaves at one point, but... Those are mainly Penelope Penvalen's collections of French novels. She was a patron to a raft of artists, and her salon was quite popular. She was quite the libertine, even kept her maiden name after her marriage. I want to get up there. Let me into the books. Give me the books. Argumentum exit. Wonder what happened in there. Why does it feel like we're so low down to the ground? I better stay inside. If I track mud in the house, Mrs. Drake will kill me. Can't look down yet. we go. Bling. Whoop. Oh my god. It's gonna be bading. Oh, wah, bading. And then it'll be wah again? Or whoop. It's whoop again. And Ooh. it was Wa again, yeah. Bling, bang, bang. Well, thank you very much. And 
now I'm gonna need some butter. I need the key. Good news, I have the key. The key fits, but it won't turn. I need to put some kind of grease in there first. Yes, yeah, some kind of grease. Hi, you must be Nancy. I'm so pleased you're here. I'm Jane. I know you've come to visit my stepmom, but I'd love it if you could pop by whenever you get the chance. Oh, we'll have such fun. Let's play a game. Sure, Jane. What would you like to play? Let's play this card game I found in your room. Actually, it's Bridget's room. I mean, it used to be her room. I mean, she died like 300 years ago. You can see a painting of her in the Great Hall. She's the one with the telescope. Okay, so you have to match up a pair of constellations. I made all the matches in 40 tries. Try to beat my record. I hate this. Beat my score! Felicitations! That Felicitations! Fun, I'd like to ask you some questions. Sure, what do you want to know? About Mummy? Uh, I mean, Linda. I do hope you'll help. She's been a bit out of sorts lately. Yeah, on Junior, the capitals don't matter in the typing game. That's the only reason why it's better. When did she start getting sick? I was playing in Mommy's room when she wasn't there, and when I looked up, there was a there. man all dressed in black putting something on Mommy's nightstand. Did you recognize the woman? I couldn't see her face because she wore a cape with a hood. The lady put a note on Mommy's nightstand, but I didn't read it. That's when Mummy started feeling poorly. I don't want to think about that. Let's play a game. It will cheer me up. Sure. What would you like to play? Look inside the chest over there and pick a game. My great aunt said it's a hope chest, so I put my games in there in the hope someone would come over to play. She's so we sad. We can play bowl, constellation match, petroglyph punch, petroglyph and bones, punch, and I also have a jigsaw puzzle. You sure have a lot of games. I love games. I want to make computer games when I grow up. How about a game of Petroglyph Punch? This is a game I bought in Arizona. You have to make as many matches as possible. On your mark, get set, go! Okie dokie. Oh man. I am not having a good time of it. I just, my brain is mush. I went to like a work thing. An after work thing, that's the worst part. Today, and I did not do well. I win. Hell yeah. Great score. Great score.
That card game downstairs doesn't seem to be working. Do you know what's wrong with it? You have to wind her up. Unfortunately, my great aunt took the crank off. She's always doing mean things like that. Mean things like that. Have you ever seen anything strange outside? Once I saw my Uncle Roger's toupee fly off during a windstorm. Talk about freaky. Jane, did there used to be a telescope in my room? Mm-hmm. I took it outside to look at the stars. But if you want it back, you'll have to play a game with me. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> okay, what's the game? Let's see how quick your reflexes are. I'll time Oh no, a 20 the piece done puzzle. In time, I'll return the telescope. If not, then you'll have to try a game. A game. On your mark, get set, go. Love to do puzzles. 5 minutes. Oh, 5 minutes for 20 pieces. Oh boy. How will I cope? I mean, to be fair, the BXWND is really got it out for me. It would help if these things actually went where I wanted them to go. minutes oh no there it is i was like i'm one of them is missing somehow oh i was trying to figure out how that was gonna work and then it's because there was a piece still there In you real life, that would have been less I'll than a minute. I'll put the telescope back in your room first chance I get. Do you know what the password is for the computer in the library? Yes, but I won't tell. Not unless you beat me at Skull and Bones. My friend Hulga bought this for me. It's like Go Fish, but you have to collect three of a kind of weird things like zombies and ghosts. You go first. Sure. Do you have any tombstones? Sorry. Any bats? Go dig. Do you have any coffins? Go dig. Do you have any zombies? Sorry. Do you have any haunted houses? Dig. Your witches, please? All yours. You got a match. Good for you. Do you have any skulls? All yours. A match? Hmm, you're doing great. Do you have any zombies? You're going to have to go dig. Do you have any tombstones? Dig. Any bats? Sorry. Do you have any haunted houses? Nada. Any bats? You're going to have to go dig. Do you have any bones? Here you go. I got a match. Do you have any coffins? Here you go. That's a match. Do you have any ghosts? Nada. Do you have any zombies? You're going to have to go dig. Do you have any spiders? Nada. Would you happen to have any ghosts? All yours. Do you have any zombies? All yours. You got a match. Good for you. Any bats? Sorry. Do you have any tombstones? Go dig. That's a match. Would you happen to have any ghosts? Get out your shovel. Do you have any spiders? Here you go. Do you have any tombstones? Nada. Any bats? All yours. A match? Hmm, you're doing great. Would you happen to have any ghosts? You're going to have to go dig. Do you have any spiders? Here you go. I got a match. 
Do you have any tombstones? Go dig. I got a match. Would you happen to have any ghosts? I win. You won. Good job. Okay, the password for my. I like how I'm just like zoning playing this. I'm like, you know. Do you think there's a treasure hidden around here? I highly doubt it. I mean, if there were, wouldn't someone have already found it? When I asked Ethel about it, she said that it's the Penvilla name and heritage that should be treasured. Blech. Yeah. Blech. Teachers, am I, I right? Get going. Ta ta. Ta ta. I totally love that show. Isn't Brady Armstrong so dreamy? So dreamy? Total hottie. Sorry guys, do you want me to mute it for this? Here, let me let me turn down the volume for you guys real quick. This eight. This should be ten. Oh, there we go. That's ten. weird thing to put in the game. I'm not gonna lie to you. Looks like you're learning some interesting stuff. Bet you wouldn't say that if you were the one who had to learn it. <sighs> Why would the hell do you have to do an entire biography on one of your family members? Weird. Learn, sing, discuss the Ballad of Bridget. Um, French, present, simple, past, and future verb conjugations. Okay. For those specific ones. What is that? To be, to finish, and to say? I don't know those two in the middle. To help, perhaps? No, to love. Right? Yeah, that one's to love. That one is... I don't know. Flatten. Second. What is that? Declension nouns? I cannot read that. Science. Gravity and the weight of objects. Winter star constellations. Math, geometry, algebra, English, read, discuss, the tale of two cities. Art projects, draw Bridget's favorite star constellations. Draw, color, most favorite, draw and color most favorite character from Dickens' book. Draw and color least favorite character from Dickens' book. Create an illustration for the Ballad of Bridget. That's what I want to see. Ethel live in the manor, or does she have to show up at six in the fucking morning daily? Um, they said that she lives there, if I remember correctly. As the moon rises upon thee, fear not, but draw upon the strength of absent friends, and toast to their memories in happiness and wonder. With stalwart heart of a knight, 
Let charity be thy guiding angel. Stay firm in knowledge as a dedicated geometer, and fear not the ravages of Father Time. For, dear child, as you learn the lessons of folly, the secrets of this world shall dawn in thy soul. the least abnormal part of this child's education. <laughs> I'm sorry, but... And clearly she does unpaid overtime because she's pouring oil in holes with Jane at 2 a.m. Oh, I forgot to turn it back up. I apologize, guys. Now you guys can hear. Each of those cups seems to be associated with a Roman numeral. Yeah, none of this is like really that interesting. Need that, but otherwise. Mm -hmm. The key. Who is the pretty bird in the mirror? I can't believe that for literally 20 years I did not. Okay, not 20 years. For like 15 years, I did not realize that this was the answer. I fucked around so much. It took me so long to figure out. Who is it took. It literally took someone else telling me as an adult. Um, let's order some food with Uncle Fred and Johnny Rudder. Oh, let's talk to Hugh first, I guess. Ugh. Hugh, Hugh am I right? Hello, Mr. Pendleton. This is Nancy Drew. I'm the one who's visiting Linda. You know, from the United States? Across the pond? Yes, of course. Are you at Blackmore? Yes, I am, and I've talked to Linda. Good for you, because frankly, that's something I've been quite unable to do lately. These I hate this man. Of hers make rational discourse well nigh impossible. I hate him. I hate him so much. Yeah, like, in my defense, I was literally 12 when the game came out and when I played it, but still. I am now... Yeah. It's been 20 years since I played this game. Almost. I was 13 then, I guess. Did this come out in 2003 or 2004? This was the first game we played where we had to wait for the next game. So we had to wait for Secret of the Old Clock, and it was a huge disappoint disappointment to us. I think this game is 19 years old. Wow. Passage of time fucks me up sometimes. You know what I mean? Mm. <laughs> she gets angry for no reason? Absolutely none. We'll be talking on the phone about the weather or Jane's lessons or something equally innocuous, and suddenly she'll be bellowing at me and slamming the phone down. Are you sure you didn't inadvertently say something, you know, argumentative? I promise you, these rages of hers are totally uncalled for and quite unbearable. I love her dearly, but she's making things very difficult. Sorry, let me turn back up again. I'm noticing it's very low. I apologize. Have you spent much Oops. time on your father's computer? 
The one that's in the library? I didn't mean to click that, I but... Say I've never touched it. Mathematics, computer science, linguistics, all the things that fascinated my scholarly father bored me to tears. He gave up on me I quite early you. on. With Jane, however, it was a different story. What do you mean? From the day she was born, my father doted on her far more than he ever doted on me. Read to her, bought her books, games. Truth be told, I was a bit jealous. He passed away when she was still a toddler, so it's unlikely she remembers all the attention he showered on her. But I do, and I still find it so out of character as to be mystified. I do. I hate him. Everything he says is just so irritating. I met your daughter Jane. Quite the bundle of energy, isn't she? I get the feeling she's very lonely. I get the feeling that she's a little lonely. I'm sure she is, what with a private tutor instead of school and Linda being... under the weather. And coming back to Blackmoor no doubt reminds her of her real mother. Renee and I were divorced almost two years ago. Jane went into a bit of a tailspin for a while, but she's come to adore Linda. She's been calling her mummy since the day we were married. It was nice talking to you. This is an Why extremely he... busy time for me, so I apologize in advance if you call and I'm unavailable. I understand. Good. Cheerio. For me, I've come from Alabama with a banjo on my knee. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Hello. Boys head pop, this is Tommy. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. I'm supposed to call you if I want some food. Right, right. Nancy Drew out at the old Blackmore Manor, right? Out of the old Blackmore Manor. Up there. Pity about your kitchen, but we'll fix you up for some Bex and Posh. Just tell me what you'd like. Uh, okay. What do you have? We've got some loop de loop, bangers and mash, a real fine pinky and perky, and a delicious dog's eye, me fork and knife, just rubber duct. Hello? Um, <laughs> could you repeat that? Sure, we've got some loop de loop, bangers and mash, pinky and perky, and a this dog's game eye, and the reminds me of the 13th Tale book. Sounds very yes. Um, let's get some soup. I'll have some loop de loop. Okay, one loop de loop. Uncle Fred and Johnny Rudder? Yep. Uh, okay. All right, then. We'll come round and leave it at your Rory. Oh, and we've got no hot potato about, so it might take a bit. But we'll have it up to you in no time. Fish and taters. Sure, dude. I need to go take my- oh! So, for people who don't know, I have bronchitis right now. You're probably like, Risa, I haven't heard you cough at all. Yes, that's because I'm on a lot of medications right now. And I need to go take- I'm like, noticing I need to go take my, um, my next bout of prednisone. So... We are gonna meet right back, and we'll we'll be able to talk without me running out of breath. Everyone, get some get some stretching in.
our turn. Realizing that as a friend, I'm someone I'm friends with on Steam that I blocked everywhere else. I have forgotten to block on Steam. So that's fun. Let me do that real quick. Block off me. Just block. I guess I can I can block someone and not remove them as a friend, but now removed her as a friend. Isn't that nice? I just got like a notification that she started playing something. And I was like, oh boy. Ooh. A friend's ex-wife. Who is hot. Um the hell? I have I have ice cream though. I think everyone should always get ice cream. Ooh, watermelon bars, yes. I want like mango paleta, that's what I want. You know, I also have knockoff cheese rice crackers in the other room, that's my nighttime snack. We're just going to be sitting here for a second while I eat my ice cream. Mm. Yep. No. Close that for now. I'm glad we're all just gonna sit here while I eat my ice cream cone. What's up, free? What's up with you guys right now? All non-dairy ice creams now ingest at least one form of legume protein into their milks now. Oh man. Mmm. Mm. Cream cheese brownie. Hell yeah. One, one, I think it was the first um, Valentine's Day that I um, I lived with my husband. I made, like as a surprise, I made him um, like a cheesecake brownie. And it was so good, and I can no longer eat that. And sometimes I think about it. Like, man. Yes, Dr. Husband likes cheese. Artisanal cheeses. I love sorbet. Have fun with that. So, for everyone else, Nicolas Cage is now in um, Dead by Daylight. Because why not?
It's so funny is that I own Dead by Daylight. I've never opened the game. Um, another game that my question for you guys would you watch a Street Fighter 6 stream Would you watch me play Street Fighter? I would support you, but I wouldn't watch anyone else play. Um, the new Street Fighter has a story mode. And I've been playing it. Street Fighter is classic arcade, like, just literally beat em up game. Um, mm hmm. Street Fighter 6, Nintendo fan. <laughs> okay. Back to the game. Wow, it's already so late. How late does Mrs. Drake stay up? to play the card machine in the Great Hall, but it's broken. It's not broken. I removed its crank, as it was proving to be too much of a distraction for Jane. I suppose I could see where it's gone to. But in the meantime, be a dear and do something for me, would you? Sure. Do you see that hodgepodge of plants over there? They're my prize seedlings. I had them perfectly my arranged prize hooks, so I could easily move them about to catch the light. Unfortunately, Jane took all of them out when I wasn't looking. And now for the life of me, I cannot get them back in the box so that they all fit. Why don't you give it a try while I see about that crank? If we both succeed, we shall both be happy, if you catch my meaning. Remember, they must all fit in that box! Reminder for everyone, what I did for... Still pretty proud of that. <laughs> what? Eh, come on. Don't be like that. Hey, hey. Hey, you, bitch. Oh, bitch. Y'all see this shit? Okay. 
We're just fucking around right now. I am having a time of it. Oh my god. <laughs> I hate you so, so much. Flames on the side of my face. Why is it like this? I know why it's like this. Bitch. It's like I slide it into place and it immediately slides out. Oh. Doesn't have the nine common allergens, but I bet it has some uncommon, uncommon allergens like pea protein. I bet. I bet. Uh, I just made everything just slightly the wrong place. You want Kenobi? My only hope. There. There. Hmm. The Nazaline. So it's not actually. Benadryl. Yeah. Hey, maybe I hey. should try feeding it something. I mean, I will, but I didn't order the pinky and perky this time, so we'll just have to eat our soup and then have pinky and perky tomorrow to feed. I didn't think about it. I thought there was still time. There was time! Oops. Shut up. That must be the food I ordered. Food I ordered. Ah, loop de loop. Otherwise, Otherwise known, known as, soup. as soup. This smells delicious. And Uncle Fred and Johnny Rudder are just plain old bread and butter. I can use my Johnny Rudder to grease up that lock outside Jane's room. Stick some half melted butter into our pockets. That's a spot. Ma'am. That really hit the spot. Are what made those red eyes I saw outside the night I arrived. Fascinating. This'll loosen things up in there. Wilch. Okay, let's let's go through this. I'll take a picture. Don't worry about it. As the moon rises. I know there's like actual ways to do this now. Like smartly. Strength. Post.
Coward Heart of a Knight. The knight, let charity be thy guiding angel, dirty angel. Oh. Take this part of it. guys are probably thinking like what the fuck are you doing risa and like you're not wrong to think that about me often but in this case i'm doing my best Dedicated geometer. You're not the ravages of Father Time. Ah oh, man, I'm uh, so close on yet so far. Okay. Basically, I just need that here. Okay, that's fine. Hell yeah. I love to do slider puzzles and get things and not know why I'm getting them. Like, I think that's the best part. Is that Nancy's just getting these things and not having any clue why. I know why we're getting them. But Nancy's just like compulsive. A compulsive puzzle solver. And she's done it to us now too. Yes. The picture book in Jane's room. Do you know much about its history? My brother Alan found it somewhere in the house. He was quite fascinated by it, but he'd never let me look at it. What a dick. The butter is my favorite thing. She just holds on to it before even seeing the key. No, in this... In this case, I did have her look at the keyhole before pocketing the butter. 
in this in this playthrough, this instance. She's not as weird. I spoke with Mr. Tucker at the Boar's Head Pub, but frankly, I'm not at all sure what he said. Yes, his language is quite good. Yes. He's Cockney, you see. My brother Alan and I loved to make up Cockney rhymes when we were young. We drive our governess quite batty. Haven't got a pot of glue. Haven't got a pot of glue. Oh, how we teased her. Oh, yeah, no, she w you can just put the butter in her pocket anyway. No, she, she will. You can just take butter without having any idea why. She also will just take the turkey. Yeah. Pot of glue? A clue, dear. Haven't got a clue. Rhymes with glue, you see. What was your brother Alan like? Apparently a he dick. Was quite remarkable. He taught linguistics and computer science and won many prestigious awards. He loved games, especially pranks, and was forever tinkering with this and that. I do miss him sometimes. Only but sometimes. But now he's gone. He died a month after my husband passed away. And he ever killed since them both. I've been here all alone. Until Hugh came back from the United States, that is. This conservatory is very beautiful. But why isn't there any water in the well? I'm not quite sure. We never really used it, but it was always full of water. That is, until my brother died. And then it just dried up. Most of these plants were brought over by my grandfather. He was quite the adventurer. I remember when he brought back Lulu from the Amazon. At first, Mother wouldn't allow us to play with it because it had picked up too many unsuitable words from sailors. But it gradually learned proper manners. Can you tell me about Lulu? Lulu is a very old parrot. She must be over 80 years old. Please be very careful with her, especially if you feed her. Parrots have quite delicate constitutions, you know. Quite I delicate to get constitutions. Back in the box. Wonderful. And I managed to find that crank. There you go. Crank. Great. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Bye. Run along. Run along. Don't have to be such a bitch about it. I still haven't read the granny book. I'm gonna go read about granny now. There you are. Ah, you bastard. Crying so hard. Oh, I just gotta, gotta click on that. No reason to do it, but other than I like to. John Pendleton. Uh, I'm not gonna read this though. Like, you guys understand that, right? Water, earth, fire, air. Sorry, I just completely zoned out. And all three lived happily ever after. You know what, John? That was a really muddied book. Um, it seems like you're the only person who ever published it. And I think it's better off that way. Cool. There are symbols in that mural that I couldn't see before. Okay, okay. Oh man, I'm not. My brain has turned off, y'all.
I'm waning. So, I love you all. But it's been a long day, and I didn't even go to work yesterday because of the bronchitis. And then today I went, and it was, it was hard. It was rough. It was a really rough day. <sighs> Time for sleep, probably. I'm probably going to go play The Sims until I pass out. So, you can hear that my voice is just going. So, um, yeah, thank you guys for coming. Um, and I will be back tomorrow for doing the same thing. So, yeah. Mm, bye. Peace.